Those girls had so many jiggers when we first came. There have been some major improvements, although we know we still have a long way to go, given that uh, this is a, a raid case. We will not get tired returning back and take it, uh, taking it up from where we left. And slowly by slowly continue handling the jigger until it's no more in this home, around this place. We know there are things that have been omitted by Anna and her parents and neighbors, people who should have been in position to help. And uh, we will help them do those things. We, of course, you cannot force people to do what they don't want, but you can influence them to begin um, carrying out things that are uh, were really being avoided by them uh, intentionally and what you begin doing you get used to and as you get used to it it becomes easy to perform it it becomes normal until sometimes you do it without even thinking although someone else wouldn't do that even if they were thinking hard you do it without any thinking. Two things are happening there. There is the digging of the jigger and the debridement. And that skin is being replaced. Um, the the um, scales and the loose material is being chopped off by this couple. What is going on is that uh, the skin that remains will heal uh, as jiggers go away and um, very brand new, tender and young and glowing skin will replace that place. So that what will be seen later on as the healing takes place is a brand new foot, very admirable. And we have seen that. 
that um, beauty comes out of the ugly. Um, the ugly is what gives way to beautiful. And so we love to see the results of our labors of love. We love to see what happens thereafter. Unfortunately, we s mostly don't share that on YouTube because it's not very educational. It's only f to prove that what we're doing is working. And that is not education. That is um, authentication. And we really are not so much into authenticating what we're doing because we have already proven through so many successful stories that what we do is important. It, it, it works. So we cannot feature every case to prove that what we did worked. We only have to keep on going and when we bless people and they leave and as long as you cannot see them being video taken again if they never appear on successive videos it means they got well but when they uh, didn't get better then we will you'll see us back there again our presence with somebody you know is not good news it's actually bad news it means they they did not get well and so the physician well saying that I don't mean the physician who is trained we have some negative people who are so bent to um, trying to pull others down and they'll say he called them physicians and they are not he called them doctori and doctori in Swahili means healer and you can be a healer in traditional society without going to a medical school actually there is nothing like going to the medical school and so we have traditional uh, doctories so when I say when I call a jigger technician doctory it doesn't mean doctor it means healer and we refer to the people who heal people here as doctory uh, although even doctors are healers so a doctor in a health facility is a doctory, meaning healer. And God is the doctory, meaning healer. And the Jiga technicians are doctory, meaning they are healers. They have healed so many people, thousands upon thousands of people have been treated and they were healed. They got well through the labors, through the hands of uh, our able, more than able, uh, the Jiga technicians. And so they, they're justifiably doctors, you know, when you are not really doctors, they're justifiably doctories. And maybe if you call them doctor, then that's wrong. But when you call them doctory, then it's right. They are doctories because they are healers. They were healed so many people, so they are doctory. And so, yeah, just wanted to make a clarification, a little clarification there. Yeah, now, the environment and circumstances they work in are very challenging. You cannot compare what is done here with the Western standards. We are worlds apart. There are very few uh, f physical amenities, very few facilities and all that. And it makes uh, this treatment process a bit um, uh, different because it's happening in the, in the field, in people's homes. And as you can imagine, the home of a poor person is not really um, a very... Uh, good looking home. It's not very clean and doesn't really smell so nice. That's where we work from. So if you are so narrow minded, you will look around you and look through the computer and expect the surroundings to be like yours. 
and expect things to make sense so that uh, they comply um, with what you believe and what you always see every day and the moment you don't see that then you start to disagree and if you're not very careful then you start to protest and then the energies, the initial positive energies that made you watch that video will very quickly be negated by your own uh, narrow-mindedness and you'll find yourself condemning people who are helping. Instead of blessing them, you'll, you'll find yourself cursing them. And you'll do that with a lot of energy and uh, you'll become a distorting factor become a negative factor, a destroyer. And in the event of thinking that you are actually mending, you are in reality destroying lives. Because um, if we want to be relevant and to really um, make things happen, we should, we should create a difference through action. If what Rise Up Society is doing is action, then you can counter them through action. You cannot counter something that is practical with a theory. No. Um, something practical is only disproved with practical. You cannot theory, you cannot do it through theories and explanations. It won't work, and that is the tragedy a lot of haters have found themselves in with. Uh, they, just, uh, they try to counter uh, these practicals, these actions, through theories. And, and uh, how I wish they also became a little practical. Uh, and then we would then look at that twice and make comparisons. But uh, practicals are not um, evaluated through theories. In fact, it's hypothesis and then theory and practical. So practical is the very last end. And there is nothing further than that. Because practical is, it proves itself and it doesn't need any explanation. And if you want to beat your enemies below the belt, then just be practical. Just do stuff. And let them talk, but do stuff. Uh, it may be wrong, but do things. And uh, people who do things, really, they are risk takers, and sometimes they burn their fingers. But they are never beaten. You cannot beat a practical person. So, if you are the iron, uh, you seem to be facing some opposition and it seems to become relevant. Just be practical and a lot of opposition is ends at theory. If you're practical, then the, the opposition will not even um, enter your, your precincts. Do not even get to your environment, to your surroundings, because practical is not easy, and the world is bent to theories. They can plan, and they can hypothesize, and they can uh, theorize, but practical work, um, being pragmatic and hands-on, is something most of the people don't don't do. And to beat them, a lot of the people, you you know, you just have to be practical. We have some eloquent people, people who can really lay out what they think with the, the styles that will amaze you. They know how to speak and how to explain. Uh, but you know, there is um, one aspect that most don't engage, 
they end at that rhetoric. A lot of people don't do it. They say it, but they don't do it. Because saying it easy is easy. And it's 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 in its own world. Um, the world of sayers and dreamers is a big world. But the world of doers is such a thin world. Very few people walk in action. They walk in action. And that is why um, uh, very few people write history. And those who walk in action are never defeated. And one thing that even made Jesus defeat those very learned people, because we had the Pharisees and the and the scribes and the Sadducees, and then we had the Sanhedrin, and we had the Roman government, 